Pablo mentioned, go back to basics, right? And then sit behind the ball and get tight. Well, that's not Barcelona. What's Barcelona's basics? It's not defending tight. It's not what they do naturally. And so you can now try to fake it and say, you know what, guys? Let's get tight. Let's get behind the ball. Let's get conservative. It's not your style of play. It's not what the players that you have on the field want to do or feel naturally. Uh, and it's not like they're looking at this and saying, yeah, if we organize ourselves, we're just going to keep it tight and keep the zero. That is not within the personality of this group. So if I'm Xavi, instead of Alejandro Valde, instead of Marcos Alonso, I have to give some sort of threat offensively down the left-hand side. And why am I bringing this up? Because I think that it may just be Jordi Alba mm. that gives you the best option. A lot of experience. Now, is he going to help you defensively? Well, I guess not. But the threat of him down the left-hand side may, may just get enough attention from Real Madrid to where they, are, they aren't just free to put people on both sides and attack you from everywhere. If you are Jordi Alba, you can get up and down the left-hand side, and it will help the unbalance that Barcelona has offensively. Because if you have Rafinha and Dembele on the field, they are not effective if one of them is on the left. They're both effective on the right, not effective on the left. So you need that presence. Marco Alonso is not going to give you that, and Valde doesn't give you that. There's some discussion whether De Jong is best deployed in this match in central defense or in midfield. What would you do? Uh... I love me some Sergio Busquets. I really love what he has done over the course of his career. But there are moments now where it's so very obvious that the game is moving at a different pace. Um, and while Barcelona is able to control the pace of the game, then it's great to have Sergio Busquets. But when the game gets stretched and it gets in a back and forth, which this could very well happen, given the fact that Real Madrid is willing to wait for you so that they can get out in transition. In those moments in transitions, I don't think Sergio Busquets helps you all that much. Mm. I would say Frankie de Jong gives you a better option. But if you're looking for stability, you're looking for experience, then it's very difficult to get Sergio Busquets off the field. And if that's the case, you, you leave Busquets on, you leave Pedri because of his quality, and the guy that you would question would be Gavi. Is in his intensity enough to keep him on the field, or do you bring the quality of Frankie de Jong? Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.